Whether you are shopping online, in store, or both, this is the week of all weeks to snag some major deals on virtually all types of products. So I looked into how you can get the very best discounts from Thanksgiving to Cyber Monday in this 7 News Consumer Exclusive. Does it make noise? As three-year-old Brandon anticipates the joys of unwrapping presents, oh, his mom Jenny McCall gets her thrills from holiday deals. But it's hard to stay on top of shifting prices, so here's her high-tech trick. When you're shopping at somewhere like Target, you can scan the barcode through the app, and it'll show you that the regular price is $16.99, but the online price is $10.82 so they will price match up at the counter. In other words, catch the savings by downloading your favorite retailers apps or signing up for email alerts. As far as price matching, most stores don't do that for Black Friday deals, but Target is extending its policy. So anything you've bought between October 6th and December 24th can get a price adjustment as long as you bought it at Target or Target.com. As the big shopping weekend approaches, you should note big box stores like Target, Walmart and Best Buy will be closed Thanksgiving Day, but open online. Price analysts with Deal News closely track discounts Thursday through Monday. Which has the better deals on which products? For Thanksgiving this year, we're expecting that to be the day to shop for things like headphones and TVs and video games. And Black Friday is going to be really big for things like laptops and toys. And then Cyber Monday is we're hoping going to be huge for beauty products and clothing and shoes. So what's to watch this year? TVs as always. Best Buy featuring a 50 inch Insignia 4K Fire TV for $299. That's $130 off. And if you're going big, this Samsung 85 inch is $400 off. Plus laptops as low as $109 and $70 bucks off this digital air fryer. At Target, don't forget the expanded toy aisles under the FAO Schwartz banner. McCall has yet another way to save. Add what you want to your cart online now and wait. And then when it goes on sale, it, they email you saying that there's a deal on something that you saved. Keep in mind, the easy click of online shopping can get your wallet in trouble, as brothers Connor and Cody David can attest. Who do you think saves more on their shopping? Him because he buys less. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, there you go. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll take, take that. Off. As for supply, unlike last year, for most items, there is plenty in stock, but a few categories like video game consoles and the iPhone 14 may be in short supply. A lot of the stores, including the Apple Store, don't have the item in stock. So if you want to get it, it's best to go ahead and order it. Finally, Black Friday isn't just about electronics and toys. Retailers like Unclaimed Furniture have their best sales of the year. It's the biggest sale that we do. We start from 8 o'clock that morning and it goes um, 20 percent. Then at 9 o'clock it goes down to 15 percent and then after that it's 10 percent for the rest of the day. Rashad Fluker recommends you visit the store ahead of time to scope out what you want. Of course, for shoppers like McCall, the less I have to be out on Black Friday, the better. Avoiding the crowds is priceless. Now, we should note some of the Black Friday deals you can already get online. For instance, Amazon already offering different lightning deals each day. For more tips on how to save this week, just look for this story on my page at WSPA.com.